You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. A high dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. Allows the bard to equip and use a flail. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. A powerful ranged shot which passes through its target, used with a ranged skill. Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. The bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. It had come to this at last. One man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. Ah, oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got. In case you run into trouble. Oh, and uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. Hey, I understand your hesitation, stranger. There isn't enough ale in this town to get me to go down there. Then again, I'm a cowering sort.
Quest complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. I've cooled off when I return, or you're next! Are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend button. Well, what are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, Boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the button, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? No, laddie. Let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu button. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. That was useful, at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control. But they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders. For example, try to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Attack! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? You can experiment with different uses of the orders to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, 
You may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply press the creature's button. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. You tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me, okay? Go back to where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it. I've plenty of guts, milady, which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer. You mean it's dead? Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Twas the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humour. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy. -o. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trowel in the fairy haunt woods. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever, a trowel. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Mmm, sounds a little dangerous to me. I don't care much for trowel. I think I'll pass. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about, I will wee trinket here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Here, laddie. Try it out. She's beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man. And, uh, what were you saying about a trail? Find him in the fairy haunt woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass.
The bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. Wait, wait am, I, am I reading that correctly? This can't be right. You'd be surprised. I find all kinds of things inside these beasties. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Well, I'm just going to skip those passages in the future. What? That's a major source of income, you cheap good-for-nothing horses. <clears throat> and so the bard continued on his journey. Another victory for me! Now, who have we here, eh? You must be the fella who's been chasing all over, putting the touch on the locals with that shocking beast of yours. You must be Banafee. I've been sent here about a tune you might be willing to part with. Now, it just so happens that I don't know a wee song, and if you do me a little favour, I might be willing to part with it. All right, let's hear this favour, then. I've got a friend in the forest jail by the name of Kettle Swat. Spring him free for me and you'll get your song. You don't have to worry about any guards at the jail. They've been chased off by the Kunal Trow. I can't help you with their patrols, but you can get through the door with only a password. You'll need to say fiddle snuff to the Kunal Trow guarding the door to be let in. So, just get him out and then come back here and I'll teach you some magic. Fair enough? Done. Just have that song for me when I get back. I'm no man's errand boy. To show my goodwill, I've even opened up a quick way back to town for you. It's right over there. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 